So this is part five. Finally, we're gonna get to the fun stuff, which is Redux. Um, Redux is a state management system. So React is really just a view layer. It helps you render things and it helps you lay out components and then pass around data through the components, but it doesn't really manage state. So you still have a problem of managing state. What Redux does is it gives you a framework for managing state. And I just, I just Googled what is Redux in image search just to find like a nice diagram. And I think this diagram is a pretty decent simplified version of what, how React and Redux are working together. So essentially you've got one way data binding in Redux and React, that's, that's what's going on. You have your React components, they trigger events. The events go and do something in an action. So the action will pick up the event and then the action might do something, and then it, when it returns out of the action, you get it to go to the reducer. The reducer looks at the state of the application, takes whatever happened in the action, takes the data from the action, and then modifies the state and passes the new state into the state store. And then that state, when it gets modified, it gets passed down into React. So that data, the, the event was triggered from React and then the data flowed through the action in the reducer to change the state, and then that data came back from the state and then passed back down to React. And React, it got that data as props into the components, and if the props change, the components re-render. But the data binding is one way, so there's no state in the React app. Um, you're, you're, when you're modifying state, you're triggering actions, and they're going through the Redux cycle. You're not ever modifying state directly. Um, and then that's that's one of the, the tricks that you have to remember with uh, Redux. If you are passing mutable data around, um, it's possible to modify the state by accident. So there are plugins like uh, Immutable JS, which uh, force your um, state to become immutable, um, although they come with uh, some drawbacks as well. Uh, but we're not going to do any of that. We're just going to do very simple Redux. We're not even going to use middleware. Um, normally, you're going to use something like Thunk or Sagas, which are how you deal with asynchronous actions. But we're not even going to do asynchronous actions. This is going to be nice and simple, I hope. Um, it's always a little bit difficult to wire this stuff up, but I'm going to try to do it live here on the video. So the first thing, if you kind of look at the Redux documentation, goes through actions, reducers, store and then finally wiring it up with react I think that's the the um, order that we're gonna do this in so I'm gonna start with actions I'm gonna make a directory um, next to components I'm just gonna call it SRC or uh, actions and then I'll make another one called um, store and I'll make another one called reducers but actions is what we're going to do first. And I'm going to say um, I'll have types. So this will be export. Uh, actually, we'll do, we'll do const. Um, I think we need to think about all the action types we're going to trigger here first. So the, the one thing I'm going to do is like on, on product select or something like product selected um, and then I think the other one is going to be product uh, deselected that's going to be about it. I don't think the application is going to be that much more complicated than that. Uh, I may be wrong about that, but I think that's as, that's as straightforward as it's actually going to be. So those are going to be the event types that we're going to have. And then, um, uh, yeah, they're calling it action types here. It's fine. Um, what we're going to do now is create an action. So I think that 
we will have a couple of we'll, we'll have just one actions file let's let's call it um, products or something these will be products related actions and then I'll have something called um, product selected and it'll take a product and it's going to return um, type Type will be uh, product selected. I think I have to do as types. Uh, so I'm struggling on this syntax a little bit. And then um, I'll pass the product here as well. This is going to be really similar. Product deselected. <laughs> Product deselected. Um, and then I'll export a product selected. Product deselected. It's just going to be an object with both of these in it. So. That's all there is to that. The main thing that you have to do when you're building an action is it has to have a type that it returns. Your action is very simple. Your action just needs to do something with some data and then give it a type that goes along with that data. It doesn't even have to do anything with data. It just needs to return a type, really, is the only requirement. So I think that should be fine. And then the reducer is what actually handles the action. So the reducers are very simple also. They just take a previous state in an action and then they return a new state. So I think what we'll do here is say reducers and I'll call it the product reducer. Actually, we'll rename that to products. Products reducer. And I'll say um, this will be, I'm going to import, you know what, I think I'll just export default and I'll put these in here. fine that'll work well I think and then I'll do the same thing here I'll import those types I just need to get these types in here and that'll be up one directory and actions and then types and we're going to export we'll just call this the reducer or the the products reducer and it's going to take the um, previous state previous state and then the action and the way people typically do this is they do a switch case um, Yeah, and then you'll have like you'll have your default case where it's undefined, where the state is undefined. So you have an initial state. Um, products reducer. Products reducer. So this initial state. It's going to have something like um, products, and it's just going to be an empty array, right? So there's going to be no products selected. Uh, all this is really going to do is just contain an array of selected products. So um, it's going to be very simple for now. 
So we're going to say if uh, we said type of state is undefined, we'll just call this state. That's probably easier. If type of state is undefined, we'll return initial state. And then the thing I don't want to do, I want to object.assign just so I don't blow that up. And I'll say case. Yeah, we'll do switch. We'll do switch on action dot switch on action dot type. So this action dot type is what we're going to pass back. So action action is going to be this object. So you'll you'll always have action dot type, and it'll be either product selected or product deselected in our case. This will be nice and simple. Um, and I'll have a case types dot product selected. Whoops, I kind of hate switch cases, so I'm a little uh, weak on the syntax. <laughs> And then there's always a default here. Um, the default is return the current state. And the reason is you, you always have to return the state. You just can't um, not return any state. Otherwise, you'll break the Redux cycle. So essentially what's happening here is when you get this action, it's going to do something to the state but return a, a new copy of the state and then you're going to get your new state back. So we're going to follow that same pattern. Sorry, not a sing. So we'll copy the old state. So what this object does assign is it takes a new object. This is a fresh object, copies these keys over top of it and then it it's going to put in the new keys that you add. So really this is going to be pretty simple. Um, all I'm going to do is say products is equal to a new array, spread out the old products, and then I'm going to add in the new product. So what this does is it creates a new array. It adds in all of the old products that were in the array before, which in the first case is going to be nothing, but if you selected one, it'll be the old product list. And then it'll add the new product at the end of the list. So that's that's the easy case. This is when you select a product. The hard case will be when you deselect a product because we don't really have like an ID for any of these products, if you remember something like camera, like maybe the name is unique. I think that's the best we're gonna be able to do. The name is probably unique. <laughs> so to do to do the deselect, we're going to have to run through that array, find the thing that doesn't belong, and then slice that out of the array. But for now, what I will do, I'm just gonna return um, the state. I won't do anything, I'm just going to ignore it. So we'll say to do actually remove the product here. Just because I want to keep going and I don't want it to take super long doing this implementation if you can't actually see it work. So the next part is the store. This is the actual thing that creates the store and saves all the data into it. Um, what we're going to do here is basically copy paste this. So I created a directory called store and I'm just going to create an index in here. Um, so we need create store, we need that. I'm going to pull in the reducers. So that's actually going to be up one and then it's going to be yeah, reducers. So that is fine. And 
The thing that we need to do here now is normally you have multiple reducers and you have a reducer combiner. So I need to build something like that. Um, they should have an example in here of how to do it. So this is the this is the Redux documentation. Yep, here it is. So basically, if you have more than one reducer, you need to combine them together because you only want one um, store. So you only want one state for the whole application. This one store is going to be fed by all of these reducers. So this reducer combiner is going to combine all of these, and it'll be um, I'll just call it FPV app. And then this is kind of lame because there's only one at the moment, but uh, we'll import products from products. And then I'm just going to put products in here. And then here's the trick. Uh, whatever this key name is, so this key name is products. And then remember this is shorthand because really I'm doing this. This is just shorthand. That so when you address the store, you're going to say products dot whatever. So I'll say products dot products, unfortunately. <laughs> um, and uh, that will be where this, that's how I access these things inside of this store, or inside of the state for this reducer. So this index is going to combine them all. When I add more reducers, I'm sure I'll add more. Um, they're going to be combined in here and then the store is going to take the combined reducer set and create a store from it. So if we look at the store, uh, now the, f the final thing we have to do is wire this store in. So that is it. So I'm going to export default store. So finally, we have to wire this up to React. And the trick is you have to make a component that connects React to Redux. Um, the way to do that is to do something called a connected component. And what we'll do is we'll install a, a package called React Redux, which I've already done. And React Redux has all of the things that will wire Redux to React. And then what we'll where we'll do this, I'll either do it here in this index or I'll do it inside of the app. Um, but the app will probably be the connected component and then the index will probably be where we wire to the store. So um, I think we'll do that in part five where we actually wire up um, all of this stuff. But for now, you can kind of see we've got actions. I'm going to call actions when I select something. I'm going to call this action, and then it's going to go into the reducer, and it's going to say a product was selected, add it to this list. This is adding it to the list. And then that's all going to be wired up in the store, and I'll wire it up to this app here, and we'll pass down these um, actions. So when you click a product checkbox, as in one of these, you'll trigger that event, and then this will populate based on that list of products. So thanks for watching, and we will get a little bit farther in Redux next time.